Thank you very much for taking time out of day to watch this. All right, so yesterday I put up a video and it was about the coin gecko and it was noting the coins, say, the first like 1014, right? Today I want to put up a video about a particular, particular, what is it? It's a particular exchange, excuse me, exchange. It's called, um, Oh, pancake swap. And just so I get started, so this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is for entertainers only. This video is for entertainers only. So pancake swap is what a lot of people do is they use pancake swap to swap coins. Um, so like these small coins, the coins that are like really a lot less. Well, they use them. They use pancake swap to. Uh, say swap BNB to say Safe Moon, for example, or Shibu Inu. Well, not Shibu Inu, but other coins like that. Safe Mars or Baby or Dogecoin, Baby Doge, Dogecoin, etc. So, a little bit about Pancake Swap. Pancake Swap is the market like three billion dollars in the past twenty four hours. Just amazing, right? I think it's like a fourteen. I think it's fourteen dollars for pancake swap. Second, take a look. So how you would do it is on your like wallet or whatever you would connect your wallet, right? And then you would trade now, and then you would trade say like B and B. You would trade B and B for say another wallet. So right now it's forty six ninety six. I guess is that the price forty six dollars and ninety six cents. For one uh, B and B, right? Seems about right. Any rate, so anyway, you put it in here. You put your value, and then you put like uh, you put your value in your B and B, and then right here, it's going to display like what you're going to get. Let's say let's just do one, right? Okay, so one. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, earlier I told you one B and B is worth. Uh, I thought it was forty six dollars. It's not. It's a little less than forty six dollars. Any rate, so you would swap say B and B for for a cake, okay, whatever the cake is, or whatever coin. It can be anything, really. Yes, Ethereum, Safe Moon, Tether. Which I don't recommend. And not financial advice, of course. NRV or finance Ethereum token. Yes, that sound right. Oh yeah, so that's what it is, right? It tells you like the price or whatever, which is a cool function of this. It tells you like the token here. It'll tell you over the past month or whatever what it's what it's um, projected at. Okay. So what I wanted to show you was I wanted to go over some coins and pancake swap. So what I've done is I've already done this, right? I've scrolled down all the way and it's like twenty two hundred coins, right? In this just just in pancake swap alone. Okay. Just part of their exchange, if you will. So I've already done that actually. And it's twenty two hundred tokens all in all, right? And that's sorted by price. And I scrolled down all the way and I found the price. So what was the price? The price was safe moon or safe something. Yeah. So basically I'm what I'm do is I'm gonna go over like I don't know, there's like twenty or thirty, right? Coins basically, more than that actually. And I'm gonna tell you know, that'll give you ten dollars basically, right? So I'm just going to throw it in token sniffer and see if it's a good deal. So let's start with Elastic BNB. I'm just doing this, uh, going to throw these coins in here. So if there's any red flags or anything like that, probably not going to go after it, right? Anything like this. So does that be, yeah. Anything, any red flags like that? Anything that's like that, I'm I'm going to avoid, actually, by the way. Avoid that type of stuff. So. And if I don't see anything, if I don't see any 
price in the last 24 hours, like trading volume in the last 24 hours for a low amount. I should see, I should see more than 600 by now, right? I should see the trading volume. I should see it in the last 24 hours. I should see it uh, more, a, a little bit. I should see some some value, right? So, next one is baby Floki Villa. Oh, okay, good there. Uh, let's take let's copy it up. Hook and sniffer, and sniff the token. Sniff the token. Token sniffer. And if there's anything here, I'm gonna avoid. Right. By the way, uh, buyer's fee, seller's fee, prior now. Okay. Anything like that, I'm just gonna gonna ignore. I'm not gonna go after it, right? Because you know, this is just me taking you know one hour, two hours, or whatever, going through all these tokens and just one by one looking at them, looking at them using token token sniffer. Not even looking at the, not even looking at anything else. Just looking at the tokens, token sniffer. Just looking at token sniffer. Five, okay. That's okay. I don't mind that one. Okay. Yeah, looks like a looks like a possible one. Little angry bunny. Copy this. Put that in my little sheet here. Okay. On to the next one. Zilla Doge token. Anything there? Four hours. Trading volume. Okay, ninety three thousand. Yeah, that's a. But look at this though, right? The volume. This put it in there. Zilla Doge token. Nope. I'm going to do this one. A bunch of red flags on the side right here. And there. Metazilla. Address. Token sniffer. Yeah. <laughs> Is it? Is it? Wait. But it, okay, it didn't go the right one. Do it again. Yeah, you can see how this could be. This could just take a long time, but if you're if you're at your money. Figure out how to good, you know, do some research. That's what it takes, unfortunately. It takes some time. So anything like a red flag like this, I want it I want it solid, right? By the way. So on ten bucks in, let's say, I want it really I want it, I want a solid coin, right? Villa. And again, this is not financial advice. I'm not a advisor. I'm only Zilla. 3055. Uh yeah. Nope. That one. Can I think I did Candy Lad actually. Couple videos. This. Put it inside. Baby Dogezilla. Yeah, I talked to a person today, and they, uh, you know, I asked them, I was, I was getting my oil changed, and they go, 
and I was asking him, you know, are you doing, you know, doing crypto, just whatever, right? Okay, look at this one. This looks like a solid one. Okay, looks like a solid one. Yeah. Maybe Dogezilla. Okay. Put that in there. Maybe Dogezilla. Anyway, I asked this individual today, I said, uh, what, you know, what are you, are you in, in crypto at all? You know, and they go, yeah, yeah, I'm in crypto. And I just ask like, okay, what are you into? What, you know, give me some, uh, give me some advice, you know, what? and that, and the person was telling me that you like four hours research a day or something. Wow. That's amazing. I don't do that. Yeah. And anyway, they told me like about these tokens. They said, ARP, H, sorry, H bar. I actually wrote it in my hand. I wrote it, wrote it in my hand in a paper. It's like, oh, just hold on, let me write it in my hand. So I wrote it in my hand. It said H bar, XRP, Z R X, I O T A, and link. Yeah, so put that in here. Uh, H bar, RP, D, R X, I O T A, I T A, and link or L N K, I think it is. So for some reason, my recorder software here. It didn't act properly, whatever. So you, you're probably going to see, I'm going to have to cut the video off at 11 minutes, 46 seconds. Anyway, but I had a lot more content, by the way. But I'll leave these in the show notes. Anyway, basically, I went up to Leopard and looked at all of them, other, you know, for Leopard as well. And I put in a website, which is whois.se. What whois.se is, is... It's a website you can go to to see who owns a website. Like, for instance, you go to uh, Leopard, for instance, whatever the website is for a Leopard, and you can see who the who the the holder of the website is, who whoever owns it. Basically, and that's uh, that's good because if you see a token that in a country that's like, okay, I don't know about that country, right? Type of thing. Um, and you know some of these are from like yeah uh, country Iceland actually some are from Iceland so yeah anyway but um, if you see you know country okay you don't know about it right this will tell you what the what where the website is hosted hosted from like what country basically that's a good indication it's, you know a little bit of more knowledge that you can use to. Uh, make your uh decision non-financial advice of course anyway um we'll uh we'll see you in the next one thanks